Hello. Welcome to the Village of Florida. My name is David. I'm a realtor with Florida Realty Investments, and I can be reached at davidisinflorida at gmail.com. If you're interested in buying a home in the villages and you're trying to get a good price or you're trying to sell your home within a reasonable period of time, please reach out to me. I'll be happy to advise you. Once again, David is in Florida at gmail.com. Couple of things to note. First, we produce this show every Monday. Make sure you check today's date and ensure that you're getting the most recent information. Secondly, all of this information is drawn from the MLS, the multiple listing service. It does not include any properties that are listed on the VLS, the village's own internal listing service. For that reason, I would also suggest that if you are considering buying a home in the villages, that you retain the services of both a VLS agent and an MLS agent, because without both, you will not be able to see all of the properties that are on the market. So with that out of the way, let's turn our attention to this week's report. We're going to start by taking a look at the 10-year government bond yield. This gives us some indication as to what the mortgage rate is doing. This most closely tracks the mortgage rate. This week, we're back above 3.5%. We've been between uh, 3.2 and 4.2 for more than half a year now. It's anybody's guess as to where interest rates go from here. It is disconcerting that rates look to me as if they're uh, poised to head higher now. Turning our attention now to the Villages real estate market itself. This week, there are 342 active listings. Last week, there were 339. Listings range in price from $189,000 to just under $1.9 million. We do seem to be hovering between 340 and 360 listings. This looks at listings broken down by price segment. Uh, You can see the most active price segment, the three dollars to $500,000 range. This week, there are 222 properties for sale. Last week, there were 214. The week before that, there were 220. The week before that, there were 222. And the week before that, 221. This graph shows us the median listing price per square foot for all listings, which bumped up very slightly the last seven days to $260.48. It does appear that for the last year, we have slid inexorably from $282 to uh, $260 a foot. Here we take a look at the median time on the market for all listings. This week, the median time is 44 days for all listings. Last week, it was 46 Certainly, it's taking a lot longer to sell a home uh, this year than it did this time last year. One last look at listings. This gives us some idea as to what percentage of listings have been on the market for more than 100 days. 61 out of the 342 listings, which is 18%, up very slightly from the 17% that we saw last week. This is new listings and pending home sales to give us some idea as to how many properties are entering and leaving the market every seven days. This week, there were 40 new listings, up slightly from the 37 new listings that we saw last week. Properties that went pending this week, number 39, compared to 54 last week. New listings and pending home sales are evenly matched this week compared to last week, which saw substantially more homes go pending than new listings. A closer look at new listings broken down by price segment. Uh, As I said, there are 40 new listings this week. Last week, there were 37. New listings over the last seven days range in price from just under 240,000 to just over a million dollars. In the most active price segment, the three to $500,000 range last week saw 29 new listings, previous week, 26. Previous week, 21. The week prior to that, 28. And the week prior to that, 36. Here we dive into the properties that went pending over the last seven days. The median price was $256.15 per square foot, up slightly from the $254.58 that we saw the previous week. $245 to $255 seems to be the price range for homes going pending uh, over the last uh, six, seven months. This looks at how long homes that went pending were on the market before going pending. 42 days the median time last week, up slightly from the 39 days we saw the week before. I'm not sure there's much to be gleaned from this graph. It does appear that between 30 and 40 days is now the norm. Here we take a different look at the properties that went pending over the last seven days to see what the price change from the original list price was. A decrease of 7.76% was the median price change from the original listing price, a big increase from the 5.47% that was the median decrease last week. 
a last look at pending home sales. This is how many homes went pending within seven days of being listed. Nine out of 39 went pending within seven days, which is 23%, twice the percentage that we saw the previous seven days. And here we look at the properties that sold and closed over the last seven days. They numbered 39 up dramatically from the 29 that we saw the week before. Properties that closed ranged in price from 180,000 to 785,000. This is encouraging seeing the number of properties sold uh, holding above 35 in every seven day period. A closer look at the properties that sold over the last seven days broken down by price segment. The most active segment, the three to $500,000 range, last seven days saw 30 properties close. Previous seven saw 19, seven days prior to that, 22, seven days prior to that, 23, and the seven days before that, 21. Here's the price per foot realized on properties that closed over the last seven days. 253 a foot, the median price, up from 248 the previous week. 250 a square foot seems to be the price level we've been bouncing around since this time last year. Here's a look at the median time on the market for the properties that closed. They were on the market for a median 30 days, up very slightly from the 27 days that we saw last week, up dramatically from under 10 days that we saw a year ago, but also down dramatically from the almost 60 days on the market that we saw at the beginning of the year. And our final look at sales shows us what percentage of, of homes that closed over the last seven days were on the market for seven days or less. Seven out of the 39 sales were on the market for less than seven days, which is 18% up very slightly from the 17% that we saw the week before. This graph gives us some idea as to uh, how enthusiastic sellers are. It shows the percent of properties listed that have decreased their asking price from the original listing price. 53.8% of listings have had a decrease, slightly fewer than the 56.64% that showed a decrease last week. Here we take a look at the size of the decrease of the properties that have uh, decreased their asking price. The median decrease is a 4.53% decrease, slight improvement from last week's 4.78% median decrease. The market seems still to be more of a buyer's market with sellers continuing to reduce their asking prices. That concludes this week's look at the Villagers real estate market. If you're interested in buying a home and are trying to find a good price or research an area or sell your home within a reasonable period of time or learn about the Villagers or if you have any questions about life in the Villagers, please reach out to me at davidisinflorida at gmail.com. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can. Hope to hear from you. Take care.